What's going on guys, Matty here from dclblogger.com. In this video, I'm gonna go through another land analysis over the last seven days. I'm gonna try and make this a lot quicker than the other one because the other one was like 40 minutes, um, which was like the longest video I've ever done. But anyway, let's jump right into it, guys. It's not just gonna be a land analysis video. I'm also gonna be talking or touching upon a few points, some new kind of, you know, progress uh, points that Decentraland have made this week. So looking at the land market, guys, okay, last seven days we've seen, we've actually seen a lot of activity in um, the last seven days. And if we check out non-fungible, which um, does a good job of, of kind of giving us a quick summary of the kind of land market, we can see here that in the last 24 hours, if you were to just take the uh you know single lands alone we've seen it we've sold about thirty two thousand us dollars in the last 24 hours alone okay but then you also have estates you got to remember you we also have two here we have estates so in the last 24 hours for estates we've seen fifty thousand us dollars guys so there's been a ton of activity if you combine the two it's about eighty five uh, thousand us dollars close to a hundred thousand anything close to a hundred thousand us for me is a good day for decentraland that's actually a ton of volume guys you know in 30 days if you continue a hundred thousand us dollars a day then you're going to be seeing what isn't that like three mil that's like three million dollars a month which is like 25 million dollars in in kind of transactional value per year for decentraland i know i'm thinking way ahead but these are big numbers we're dealing with big big numbers shows you the active and investment potential, the people potential behind Decentraland. Anyway, let's go through a few of these sales, guys. Let's go through a few of these sales. Um, I'm gonna be using a different website for this one. I'm gonna be using my-dcl. It's because he's a newer member for Decentraland and he's made a really good website where the filtering options just make it really cool to kind of go through all these sales. So if we just go to my-dcl.com, we click here, we go to sales, then we're gonna see a breakdown of the sales for both estates and parcels. And at any time we can kind of filter these out. So let's look at the last 24 hours. Um, oh, sorry, the last, we can look at the last 24 hours and then the next the next seven days. Um, well, the really cool thing is he, he shows the breakdown of the prices per land for within a state. So this was sold for 54,000 mana, but that's 18,000 mana per land. Okay, now, what I've noticed guys is that the cheapest lands on the marketplace at the moment are under 10,000 mana. Um, let's kind of filter it to the cheapest. They've kind of reached, uh, they're kind of nearing nine to 10,000 mana seems to be the floor. I'd say closer to 9,000 mana is the floor. Anything like 8,900 gets picked up pretty quickly, but you know, it's, it's reduced considerably just because there's been a seller who's kind of selling a ton of his land. He sold like 50 to 60 pieces of his land for 10,000 mana, 10 to 15,000 mana. So it's kind of brought the floor down quite a lot. But the good thing is that Decentraland has absorbed a lot of that land. So there is potential, like it's, the floor isn't dropping more and anything lower than 9,000 gets picked up pretty quickly. But it is interesting for me to see that although single parcels may have dropped to, you know, 10,000 mana-ish, um, when they're not connected to any single rows or when they're not connected to any districts. But look what happens when I, when I kind of put the filter to um, roads. So what we can do is we can go over here and we can say zero, meaning that the zero distance between the parcel and the road, meaning it's connected. And you notice that the floor or the ones that seem to sell, um, not really counting these ones, which are you know on a long offshoot or really far away from the map, and you see some of these are like, you know, on the edges that sell for a bit cheaper, 13,500, 11,000 mana. Yes, they're connected to a road, but they're not really the, the usual, you know, connected to a road network. The ones connected to a road network seem to sell, you know, about 17,000 mana. There's the odd few that sell for about 15,000 mana, but 17,800, 17,200 mana. This, today alone, in the last four hours alone, we've seen three to four 17,000 mana um, range lands connected to roads. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is lands that are unique connected to roads seem to hold their value no matter how um, how much the floor drops because these stand out, okay? There's, when people want to invest in Decentraland and they just don't want to throw their money at any parcel, they look for something that they would like, they're, then these are the next best things. Um, you can see some of these lands have sold for quite a lot, guys. 75,000 mana is, is a lot. It's a, 
is one connected to a double road it's only a few parcels away from genesis city in this really kind of rare pocket over here okay but seventy-five thousand is a lot and really cool thing about this website is that anytime you can click this little bit over here and then you can use your scroller to go down and look at the tx history so this one sold for seventy-five thousand mana okay i don't know why it's saying one day ago but oh because it is one day ago actually but it was listed two days ago for 75,000 mana. It was cancelled. Before that, it was listed for 74,000 mana. And you can just see like the what the person's done with it. Okay, I guess he just keeps listing and delisting it almost every day. I guess it's gone down from 80,000, 100,000. Um, sold for 39,000. So this guy bought it one month ago. Oh, he bought it from me actually. So this is actually my parcel, 7A. 39,000. I sold it for 39,000 mana exactly one month ago. And the person that sold it. Um, sold it for 75,000 mana. So he's made like almost double on what I sold it for. That's, that's a lot. Like 35,000 mana profit is like, you know, a few thousand US. Um, we can also do, see this one over here connected. Only one parcel away from Genesis Plaza, but um, still connected to a single road. So for 70,000 70, mana, that's quite a lot. Considering that a few months ago, I sold a land connected to Genesis City itself for about 50 to 60,000 mana, I think. Back when, you know, lands weren't this expensive, I think the floor back then was about 6,000 mana and lands connected to roads were selling for about 10 to 12,000 mana. So um, it's increased quite considerably since then to see that lands only one road away from Genesis Plaza are selling for 70,000 mana. Um, okay, so these are just roads. So let's just go back to all parcels once again. Um, okay. These, oh, but let's go for single parcels for now. So let's look at good deals, guys. Good deals, all right. The ones that the person can probably make some money off by reselling them. That's what I'm looking for at the moment. Um, there's a lot of really high value purchases that have gone on in just the last 24 hours or in the seven days themselves. But um, you know, this video is about trying to find deals that were really, really good. So this one here, fourteen thousand five hundred mana for this road that connects kind of the mid section of Decentraland to this estate, which is in between Vegas City and Decentraland University. It's aimed to be really big districts. Um, this road here is like the kind of way to go up and explore this area. So anything connected to this road seems to hold a high value. Picking it up for 14,500 mana, considering that, you know, road connected parcels are about 17,000 mana, straight away is a double win. One, you're getting it cheap, way cheaper than the standard price for a road parcel. And two, this particular road, like I said before, connects this area is a lot more valuable than the general road thing. So that person actually ended up selling it almost immediately, okay? Almost immediately for a quick 3,000 mana profit. Um, so even 17,800 mana is on the lower end. And I do remember looking in the Discord, someone said that they would have paid 20,000 mana for that. So this one would have been a quick 5,000 mana profit because of the reasons I said. Um, what else do we have, guys? Let's take a look. You can see these road parcels selling for a lot of road. Oh, wait a second. Do I still have that filter on? So dumb. Okay, let's take this filter off. I was wondering why they were all road parcels. I was like, oh, wow. Well, okay, no one's buying, buying normal parcels anymore. Did that do it? Yeah. Okay. But anyway, still a lot of road parcels being sold. Uh, 17. So this one was a pretty good deal. 14,995. I believe that person bought it as a set of three. So one, two, Three. So these three sold for 17,002, 17,500, and 15,000 mana. Again, um, you know, that one, you could probably sell that really quickly for 16,900. A quick 2,000 mana profit. Um, what else do we have, guys? So so the ones that aren't connected to roads, like I said, so this is two passes away from the roads, but it's all for 9,600 mana. And these are the ones that seem to suffer a lot when the value of Decentraland starts to go down because there's nothing unique about these lands, okay? They don't really retain their value. Um, 15,000 mana. 19,000. This one could, uh, this is not 15,000, it's actually 16,000 mana. Um, nothing that special about that. 11,000 mana, no. 8,900. 8,000 on the far outskirts could probably be bought and resold for 8,900 mana for a quick 1,000 mana. Every 1,000 mana, guys, is about uh, 80 US dollars. Okay, mana is trading at, at about 8 cents a coin at the moment. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? This one, I think, was picked up. If you look at the transaction history, um, it, 
it was sold 21 hours ago, 14,900, sold one day ago for 13,000 mana. So this one over here was a really good flip, 2,000 mana for the person that bought and sold. That's quite close to the center. Um, and it's only one parcel away from this road here, three parcels away from a double road. Picking that up for 13,000 mana was a really good price. And I remember seeing that I was actually going to buy it real quickly, but I don't have bots and stuff installed. So by the time it takes me to purchase land, it actually takes a while. Remember guys, I don't really buy things off the marketplace that often. Um, what else do you have? So that was the one there. Uh, you have these ones that were purchased. So these ones, I actually picked these two up. Okay. I bought both of these. Um, for 10,000 mana, I, I think they're worth more because they're in the midst of all of these um, districts. So I relisted them for 13,000 mana or 12,900 mana for a quick few thousand mana off each one. So that's 3,000 off this, 3,000 off that, 6,000 mana. Hopefully I can sell it in the, within the week. It's still at the lower end of the central land, um, you know, land prices, but it is something unique because it's within the central land districts, which is where the value comes from. And you know, if I can make a quick six thousand mana off that, that's, a, that's about five hundred US dollars I can use for, I don't know, can I take my parents out for a dinner at a nice fancy restaurant or something. This one was a good good purchase, um, quite close to a district. Any any land within districts that you can pick up under thirteen thousand mana, you probably sell it for thirteen thousand mana and above. Um, what do we have? Fifteen six. 25, so you can see this one, like 25,000 mana it's sold for, right? Because it's within all these districts, and the one that I bought is just up here. So you see why I kind of give value for lands within districts, um, in the midst of districts. What else do we have? Anything special? Anything special? Hmm, I don't do this as often as I should, but I kind of check up on the land kind of... Uh, you know, marketplace every single day. I give it a refresh. I see what lands have sold. Uh, wait, is that connected to a road? It is. That one is too, is that? 10,000 mana for that, 12,000 mana for that. Those, well, needless to say, those are really good deals. Probably resell that for 15,000 mana each minimum. Um, probably closer to 16, 17,000 mana. So what's that? Five plus five, five plus six. Uh, five plus seven, sorry, so like, what's that? 12,000 mana, it's about a thousand US dollars. So actually big money here if, if you're dealing with like, you know, five, 10,000 mana. I try and aim for making a minimum of 25 to 30,000 mana profit a month. That, you know, for me in Australia, that equates to about three to 4,000 Aussie dollars, which is quite a lot of money. That's a, a, a healthy monthly salary. Um, but I make a lot more than that in terms of uh, Decentraland. I'm making profit off lands because I do lots of private deals, right? And I'll show you one of the private deals I did recently, um, just to give you guys an idea. Uh, what else do we have, guys? What else do we have? Um, so one connected to a decentral land sign. It's not exactly connected to a the the road, but it's connected off the corner. And see, this decentral land sign itself is a lot more valuable than the general other roads because there's something iconic about this. Um, Fourteen five is the average price to pay. It's not too bad. What else, do we have? what else do we have? This one was a fat finger, we call it. Person accidentally typed in 65, got sold. That one I reckon would have sold for about 25,000, 20 to 25,000. It's kind of sad when that happens. You know, it happened to me. Um, but let's not revisit that area. What else do we have? 39,000 mana. That wasn't a, that good of a deal. It's an average price for that area. 50,000 mana. Wow. This person made quite a lot of money. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Is that... One parcel away sold for 17,000 mana. I have no idea why. Um, okay, that's about four days. You know, I'm going to show you guys another cool thing. Okay, let's just show you now. I've gone through quite a few parcels. So this filtering section, right, check this out. If I want to explore a particular area and type in the coordinates manually, but I can get this um, tool to filter, so northwest, the center northwest. Now the center four quadrants surrounding the central land, so this sorry, surrounding the th in, in, in a Genesis Plaza, this district, this uh, quadrant, you know, this quadrant here, this quadrant, this quadrant, these four quadrants kind of make up the inner city type area. So it's really cool to see just the pricing difference. But you can see here, right, I filtered this section here, which is quite expensive, especially when the, it's got a quite intricate road system. Um, but parcels connected to these areas or these roads sell anywhere between 25 to 35,000. Look at this, 33,000, 29,900. I'm not including the double roads, okay? 
can only include the single rows in the middle. Closer to the center you are, the more they sell for. So this one over here sold for 75,000 mana. Much more expensive. Um, 27,000 mana, 29,000 mana. It's really cool to add that filter to get a general feel of what this pricing is in this area. So, you know, you know that if you're picking something up, uh, you know, under 25,000 mana in this area, you probably make some profit off it. Um, this one's also 32, 36,000 mana. This one wasn't even connected to a, a road. This was, this was a month ago. 24,800, that's what, that was a good pickup. But it's really cool to add this filter and take a quick look. Um, Decentraland sign. Let's look at that. So this sign here, you can see 12,785. These were the corner adjacent to roads. Um, the ones, but the ones that are actually adjacent, look at this valuation, 33,000 mana. Um, some of these are really crazy. 29,000, it's not even connected to a road. This one's connected, is that connected? Slightly from the corner, but you can see that these are more expensive, right? And it's really cool to use this tool for this reason. This one here, the other side of the sea, 15.5, 15.2. Um, I feel like people want to, people with bigger money, bigger pockets, eventually want to get a land connected to this Decentraland science because it's going to be iconic. 12,900, that's a good pickup, but we're a whole two months later. Okay. So that was that. Let's, let's check out estates, guys. Let's check out estates. Yes. All right. Let's look at estates. So this one, the cool thing about these estates is you can see the individual parcel price breakdown, how much it was per piece. You can kind of see if it is more valuable to keep it within um if if having it within estates are more valuable so this one was for 14,500 mana 18,000 mana 17,200 mana each sorry the value i'm saying is each um anything special like this one this was quite ridiculous 79,000 mana each guys because i think this bigger estate bought it from someone else that owned those two parcels just to complete his whole estate but he spent 160,000 mana to do that so I think this guy kind of took advantage of the fact that he's adjacent to this massive estate here. Um, this one's off for 20,000 mana, a land, 25,000 mana, a land. That was eight days ago, so now we're going beyond. Where was a big, where was that big, big, big purchase? Oh, I'm doing this again. Okay, let's get rid of that filter. Now we should see a lot more estates. Yeah, a lot. Oh, this, this, this one just sold recently. Okay, 34 minutes ago. Missed that one. Um... It was a really big estate, you guys know this one here. I don't know why we're getting this this part of it, but 22,000 mana each, 2.7 million mana spent on this massive estate, guys. So obviously these lands by themselves in these far corners, you know, of the area, it's like, um, you know, quite far from the Decentraland center. Individual parcels obviously would not sell for 22,000 mana, but the fact they are part of this large estate um, shows you the evaluation. This one, someone made a quick 40,000, 35,000 mana off because the person sold this three collective pieces for 15,990 mana. I think he meant to type in an extra zero there. But um, the person that bought it sold it pretty much the same day or the next day, 48,000 mana. Quick, quick, quick profit, guys. Um, five days, six days. Anything special? What else do we have? This one was my one, sold for 485,000 mana. This one's connected to Etheria District, which is a big, big district. I was actually planning on buying these parcels once the second auction opened, and I knew the owner of these, so I was going to make it a massive estate. But uh, yeah, this one was mine too. Anything special? A lot of these parcels connected to um, Dragon City, so selling for 27,500 mana each. So it seems that people are wanting to pick up these for the second auction because they can expand them, right? But they, they might become really big districts because of China, we don't really hear of China um, members that much. Well, who picked that up? Is that, is that what I think it is? Is that connected to Fashion Street? It is connected connected to Fashion Street and they picked it up for 19,000 mana for both. Wow. Is that worth at least 25,000 each, each, I reckon? So this was another one connected to Dragon City. Anyway, guys, you get the point, right? Okay, you guys can explore that in your own time, but so that is the deals of the last seven days. What has happened? My thoughts about it. Um, Decentraland have made another partnership as of late, Axie Infinity, which I am not an investor in. I do have an Axie actually, but I don't vividly or avidly kind of follow the game, but um, it is a great kind of 
aesthetically pleasing game, guys. There's a big following for Axie Infinity that aim to be kind of like the Tamagotchi slash Pokemon mix. Um, you buy these little crypto collectible um, kind of mythic creatures that you store in your wallet as an ERC721 token, and you can battle them, you can grow them, you can feed them. You know, it's kind of like a Tamagotchi type thing. Um, so these guys have recently partnered up with Decentraland, so they're going to be bringing a virtual reality experience a part of the game within Decentraland. The partnership happened just, I think, four to five hours ago. But um, it is cool to see that uh, these games are coming on, on board of Decentraland. Decentraland are continuing to make partnerships, guys. That is their focus, to bring game developers. And we can imagine once there's 20, 30 games on Decentraland, it's going to be an amazing place to go check out. And um, there's going to be plenty of action as long as they keep making these types of partnerships. Um, cool thing you can check out is on Non-Fungible, they have Axie as Infinity as one of the um, non-fungible tokens you can check out. and see, You can check out their activity. These guys seem to make a good 2000 US dollars in terms of um, you know daily volume, which is quite a lot um, compared, compared to blockchain gaming. It's about 55000 per 30 days, so if you times that by 12, you know, it's almost a million dollars. What is that? That's like 650,000, I think it is. So, I mean, it's more than a half a million dollars. It's, it's a lot, it's doing really good. You know, it's got an active community that are quite passionate about it. Some high, high sales. 50th is like the largest sale that happened in the last 30 days. Let's look at the largest sale um, overall. 50th, 27.5 Ethereum. I love to see large sales. It gives you an indication as to how crazy some of these buyers can be. But yeah, guys, um, there's also been a mortgaging um, company that Decentraland have partnered up with. We know that was in the works, but now you can mortgage your land and kind of sell it on a mortgage basis. Um, I think that takes it out of the land sales kind of marketplace as someone is mortgaging it. And I'm not sure, I'm not too sure about the intricacies of how that works. But um, yeah, that's the. I, th I think Decentraland are focusing on making the barrier to entry into Decentraland land ownership a lot less, kind of in increasing the li land liqui liquidity and all that kind of stuff. But it has been a big week for Decentraland, that's for sure, with big, big sales. You know, we had a record break of 2.7 million mana. Again, guys, make sure, please, please, make sure that you follow my Twitter. I always tweet about Decentraland. I'm a Decentraland fanatic. You know, every sale that makes a profit, or the big sales that make a profit, you're going to hear it first um, in Decent, in on my Twitter. Um, I make articles about why someone would spend 215,000 US for a virtual land. So I kind of go in, in depth about that particular sale. Um, I'm trying to focus on growing my Twitter account, guys. Um, it's really interesting for me to continue to grow and, um, you know, integrate with people that are connected to Decentraland and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, join the Discord. Make sure you are in the Decentraland Discord. That's where a lot of the activity happens. About, you know, there's about 6,000 members within that Discord. Um, and not to mention the WeChat group for China, China members. So there's just a lot of activity going on. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share it, um, subscribe to the channels, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.